Thank you, Saran. Okay, so let's, uh, let's talk about feature control frame. So um, if you see any industrial drawing, you must have seen this rectangular bo boxes pop up uh, near each and every feature or each and every surface. So um, whenever I say surface, surface is nothing but basically a surface is a surface. So if I have a part, something like this, this is a surface. So GDNT controls the surface as well as feature. Feature is nothing but a hole or a pin or a slot or a tab. Anything that you can actually take a one-year caliper and measure end to end, that is a feature. So uh, with GDNT, we control two, uh, two different aspects. We control the uh, surface and we control the feature. Feature meaning hole, pin, slot, or a tab. So um, what does this rectangular thing means? Uh, in GDNT, this means a feature control frame. So uh, if I try to write this down, this entire thing, into text form, what it will mean that it will mean that a position tolerance of 0.25 millimeter is to be applied to a circular tolerance zone of feature at max, blah, 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 blah. The big uh, wordings right over here. Absolutely. There are uh, hundreds of hundreds of features in every drawing, especially if you see powertrain, the drawings are, uh, they have so many holes, so many pins, and I cannot write this text below each and every hole. So uh, what the ASME guys did that they created something called a symbol for to denote this text into a smaller format. And this is the feature control frame. The feature control frame basically consists of one, two, three, four, five, six different parts. So the first part is the geometric characteristics. The geometric characteristics is nothing but it tells you what type of tolerance I need to apply to the feature. So there are 14 different types of tolerances. How many? 14 different types. Okay. Out of which, uh, so uh, they have different symbols for each and every tolerance. For example, flatness has a symbol like this. Perpendicularity has a symbol like this. Position has a symbol like this. And a profile has a symbol like this. And I would say 90% of the drawings has only these four symbols because this four symbol kind of take care of all the other tolerances. So these are kind of the uh, these are very inclusive and they take care of um, all the other tolerances as well. So the first segment in feature control frame is basically the tolerance. So here, this is basically the position tolerance. Okay, what it means is that okay, this I need to apply a position tolerance to the hole over here. Then this is the tolerance zone shape. So um, every tolerance zone, let's say I have an axis over here. It means that, and this is the hole over here. So what, what this means is that my axis can lie anywhere between a cylindrical tolerance zone of 0 0.25 millimeter. Okay. So this is what it means. So um, if it's a circle uh, or if it's a, a hole or a pin, we use a phi. If it's not a hole or a pin, we just ignore this phi. Okay. Phi only denotes that it's a circle. Uh, I mean, it's a hole or a pin. Then the tolerance size. Tolerance size is basically the actual number of the tolerance that I want. This is always in millimeter. Please note that this is always in millimeter, except specifically mentioned as inches. So let's say um, I have something like 25 plus minus one. And then I have a feature control frame of position of, let's say one millimeter back to A, B and C. Okay, here nothing is mentioned. So by default, I have to assume that 1.0 is in millimeter. But if it's mentioned something like this, then the 1.0 acts in inches, okay? So uh, 1.0 is a very big tolerance for inches. Uh, so if it's in inches, the tolerance is like something like 0 0.001. But uh, what I'm trying to say is that if it's nothing is mentioned, then you have to consider this number as millimeter. Then comes the material modifier. Uh, today we are not going to talk about material modifier because this is a deep concepts. It will require some basic understanding and some basic uh, foundation buildup. So we will not talk about material modifier. Hey Prasad. And, hey Saran. 
Yeah, looks like we have a couple of questions. So the first question is uh, uh, the 0.025 mm, is that a diameter or radius? It's a diameter. Okay, thank you. And then we have a question from Rahul Kaushik, which is what exactly is a diamond pin used and what kind of tolerances are taken into consideration to make the pin? Okay, so diamond uh, pin is, um, okay, let's say, um, I have, let me just erase this. Oops. So let's say I have a slot over here. And then to give dimension of the slot, what I do is I call out this surface over here or this feature. Okay. And then I give a tolerance of 10 plus minus one and whatever the position is. Okay. So tell me, will this have a phi symbol or not? Of course it won't have because it's not a, a circle. So it won't have a phi symbol. It will only have a position of 1.0 back to ABC. So, and then I have another tolerance called out in this direction. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to control the slot in X direction and I'm trying to control the slot in Y direction. So a uh, diamond pin is nothing but a gauge pin. And what it does is that to simulate a, a datum feature simulator, for this, uh, for this slot over here, I will create a diamond pin. So diamond pin will have, look something like this. Okay. And then uh, regarding the tolerances, so a uh, diamond pin is nothing but a gauge pin. So if I have to check this slot over here on a hard gauge, what I would do is I'll create a diamond pin. I will have the size, this size as the virtual condition. Uh, again, this virtual condition, we are not going to discuss about it today, but for today, just assume that we, uh, we have something called as a virtual condition concept for every tolerance and that virtual condition would be used to design the pin. So that thickness of the pin diamond pin would be uh, the virtual condition of this tolerance and the width of the pin this way would be the virtual condition of this tolerance. So diamond pin is nothing but a gauge pin used to check the part on a hard gauge. Uh, should I continue? Do you have any questions, Saram? So we have a, we don't have a follow-up question on that, but we have a new question from Abhishek Arora. Mm -hmm. So the question is how are tolerance values decided in general? Right. I know that quality parts have close tolerances, but there may be some general rule that applies to general parts under different working conditions. Right. Uh, that's a very good question. And uh, uh, believe me, when I was uh, on my first day of the job, I had this exact same questions. And the result is, um, and the answer is actually, uh, there are some specific uh, tolerances based on the supplier that you're working with. So in general, um, let's say a mount, an engine mount, the A datum will have a flatness of 0 0.25. Okay, this is a generic tolerance used for any machining part or any machining surface. I can give the tolerance as tight as 0 0.01 millimeter as well. But then the supply will raise the cost like $10,000 or something like that for the tooling. So it mostly based on uh, your communication with the, um, with the supplier and there is no specific, uh, uh, like there is no specific standard ASME that says, okay, the flatness should always be 0 0.25. It's more of about the carryover part. So, um, uh, if the previous parts has 0.25 uh, tolerances, it's going to work in the same uh, way for the new part. And uh, we, uh, in the next slides, I have uh, uh, example tolerances for the machining position, machining flatness, and we'll talk about it. So, uh, but in general, uh, let's say any machining flatness has 0.25 millimeter. A position tolerance generally is 0 0.5 to 1 millimeter if it's a drill part. Uh, and the profile can vary between one to two millimeter. 
And this is for an engine mount, which doesn't have any, um, which only has functional aspect. There is no visual aspect to it. But um, for example, if you consider a knuckle, so uh, a knuckle attaches to a link, let's say it attaches to the toe link. So that uh, joint is very crucial. So in our company, we give that tolerance, the flatness as 0 0.1 millimeter, which is extremely tight and which is extremely costly. So it depends on the function of the part. If it's not so much functional, you can give 0.25, which is perfectly okay. If it's highly functional and you want the part to be perfectly rigid, um, you can give 0 0.1 millimeter. Again, this is as you go into industry, you will learn more and more about the numbers. Uh, am I clear? Uh, yes. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you guys have any more questions or uh, should I continue? Uh, so for now, please uh, continue, Prasad. I think uh, I'll I'll interrupt you maybe in another uh, five to ten minutes. Absolutely, no problem. So uh, I hope the feature control frames are okay. Feature control frames, like I said, nothing but a language of GDNT, contains the geometric characteristics, what the tolerance value is, the size uh, or the shape of the tolerance zone, which is always a phi if it's a circle or a hole, uh, and A, B, C are primary. Uh, B is the secondary, and C is the tertiary datum.